Bass. White. Butter. Rock. Crank. Sleep. Flavor. Flavor. Yellow. Crack. Low. Work. Crack cocaine. It will ruin your life. You will have nothing after you smoke crack. Crack was basically like the refined form of, of cocaine. When you have cocaine, obviously it's cut with a few things, and then what you do with crack is you heat it up and it burns off all that stuff, which means that you have the pure cocaine. It's 80% to 100% more pure than cocaine. Crack gets its name from the sound it makes when you smoke it. It's like a crackling and popping sound. It comes in uh, black or, or crystal form and ranges in colors from white to yellow to pale rose. You know, it's not translucent. You can't see through it. It, it looks like a rock. It's hard like a rock. You can just snort it. I snorted it. Shot it up while I would smoke it. Put it in the pipe and smoke it. You can snort it, inject it, or smoke it. I did it for my first time on my 13th birthday. Around 17. I was 21 when I first smoked crack cocaine. I'd say 23 to 24 years old. It was curiosity, my buddies were doing it. My friends asked me to try some cocaine. We ran out that night and our drug dealer offered us crack instead. Boyfriend told me this is gonna be fun. You can, you can do it just once, it's not gonna be a big deal. And so I tried it. It took them just to be cool, just to fit in. And I smoked it and uh, within the first 20 minutes, I was starting to smoke it. I was scraping the pipe. I had run out, uh, was looking on the floor to see if I had dropped any. After about 10, 15 minutes afterwards, I really wanted it again. Where when you take the first hit and you blow out, you're like instantly high. And that's what you're reaching for every single time. Thought that, you know, if I kept smoking it, I would get it, and I never did. That's what makes it addictive, is you never reach that same level of high that you do when you very first hit it. And you spend days and days and days chasing that same high. Started spending all my money on it, you know, started skipping work. I would sit and smoke thousands of dollars, no problem. The come down is, is the most horrible part of crack. I mean, you can't sleep, you can't think, you don't want anybody to be around you, you wanna just curl up in a ball and cry. You're nauseous and you're sick to your stomach. Slow thinking, lethargic feeling, not wanting to do anything. I didn't sleep for a long time. I started with like a little bit seeing stuff. It makes you insane. You're gonna do anything that you possibly can to avoid that because it, it hurts. Your heart feels like it's gonna pop out of your chest because it's going so fast and, and you honestly feel like you're, you might die. I was living on the streets, sleeping in abandoned garages, eating out of garbage cans. One time I went over to one of the guy's house. I went inside, the guy's like, this is what it is. And I tried to argue prices with him, which wasn't at all intelligent. And he took all my money out of my pockets and he told me I wasn't allowed to leave. I was tied down to the chair. And the guy had the, the guy was walking around the house with a gun. He was all pissed off because he thought that I had that I was like a narc and that the cops were coming because of me. And all the time I'm just telling, I'm just begging to him, you know, let me live. You know, I didn't do nothing. I don't know what you're talking about. I was only 15, year, 14 or 15 years old when it happened. I went from being a very successful business person, having my own apartment, living in New York City, to I wake up one day. I'm 30 years old. I'm living with my parents again and I'm actually stealing my mom's purse to get money for crack. I went from being in this upper middle class family, wonderful home, to going from crack house to crack house. It's where you go and do drugs, smoke crack nonstop. Usually there's somebody at the door that asks you what you want. You would have to either give him money or give him drugs for just letting you in the door. You would walk into the crack house, it would be extremely dirty. Dishes piled up all over the place. Like I said, cockroaches on the ground crawling all over. You walk around the house, it doesn't matter if there's babies there, it doesn't matter if there's young children, you know, there's crack pipes all over, there's um, you know, the paraphernalia that goes along with, with using it. People that have been there for two, three days just all strung out in the corner. A guy came in to buy some crack and he had a bunch of money. They sold him some fake crack, so he came back in the house and Pretty much like seven guys just jumped him and, and took his money and beat him up pretty bad. You know, there's blood everywhere and you know, they laugh about it because it's funny to them. You know, they got money and they got to keep their drugs. I've seen females sell their, their children. I've seen mothers not even feed, not even care about their children, just for some crime. The girls, you know, they just sell their bodies for these drugs. I mean, 10, $20. 
at a time. I went out and uh, I found some guy, had sex with him, got money, went to the crack house, smoked crack all night. That's all I did was I met guys and had sex with them for crack. I didn't want to be called a crackhead, but that's what I became. Nobody wants to talk to you because of what you're doing. You know, the ones that love you cry when they talk to you. My mom couldn't sleep ever. You know, she lost her job. My dad had two heart attacks from stress, from, you know, trying to find me in the streets. So many things were affected um, with my family because of my drug use. I lost who I was over the six years. It was like I turned into someone that I never thought I would be. My focus isn't as sharp as it used to be. You'll still have your mood swings. You'll still have anxiety. I still can't breathe right. I mean, walking up a hill or walking up the steps, I, I can't breathe. I, it hurts. I think you're going to get this like great sensation, and you only get it once. You're going to be fighting to get it for the rest of your life. It's not glamorous at all. I mean, jail, prison, you're gonna get caught up eventually. You're either gonna end up in jail, you're gonna end up dead, or you're gonna have to go to rehab. If I didn't have drugs in my life, I'd achieved and accomplished so much more. It's a lot of pain, turmoil, trouble, heartache, and it's not worth it. If I had somebody's story like mine, or if I had more education on crack cocaine, I would've never picked it up, ever. If I would've known what it would've done to me physically, what it done to my family, what it did to my career, just um, all that stuff, I wouldn't have done it, you know? It was something that I tried and regretted. It's a hard decision to make for yourself, but it's it's a decision that judges the rest of your life. You know, somebody says, oh, let's try this at a party, we're just gonna have fun tonight. You know, it's a weekend thing, but it's not like that, you know? It's not just a weekend thing, and it starts off so simple and turns into a nightmare.